after you win Pepsi's Rookie of the Year award, uh, what happens from there for you from a business perspective? Pepsi became a sponsor, uh, them and other people. Um, and so from there, when you're a fourth round guy and you're playing on the contract it is, uh, now you have an opportunity to make a little bit of money away from, away from the game and away from what the team is obligated to pay you. I was able to move from my townhouse to a real house. Uh, really? So, yeah, so I mean, it was huge. That's, that's a bit of a financial um, help that, you, that I gained and just say uh, it allowed me to live my life a little bit better. Just uh, be able to, 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 to be me, enjoy life, take care of some of my other family members and set me up for the position I am now. How do you go about making decisions for how to build your portfolio of brands that you work with? It's all about relationships. Uh, it's all about getting to know the people. I don't want to sponsor or be represented or um, partner with the brand that doesn't represent who I am and I don't represent who they are. Before any, any contract I've signed with any brand, I've had a dinner um, because I want to know the face of these, of these brands and I want to know the people that are making the decisions and why am I why am I going to partner with you or why, why do you want me to be a face or, or help you? Is it because I play for the Cowboys and throw touchdowns or is it because you really believe in who I am? So uh, I don't want to just partner with somebody um, for us to high five and, and make money together. What celebrations do you remember most? Uh, I mean, for me, every time I get in the end zone, it's a simple celebration. Uh, kiss my hand, point to the sky uh, and, and thank my mom uh, and, and show and honor that moment because I wouldn't be here without her. I wouldn't be here for her if it wasn't for everything that she taught me. Um, but when Thanksgiving Day was a couple of years ago, uh, Zeke put me in the Salvation Army bucket, uh, and I literally tried to stop him. Uh, but once he threw me in there, um, that was just fun. <laughs> it was, uh, created, it just created another great celebration for us to always remember. The 2013 Egg Bowl, uh, you said you never felt love like that before. Uh, take me to that moment and what you recall. Yeah, the I mean, stand, that was my- the standing ovation. Yeah, that was my first time playing back at home after, after my mom passed. Um, almost gives me chills now to think about it. Uh, just the way the crowd stood up, the way the, the roar was, uh, the cowbells, uh, and to hear that love and that support is like 75,000 people just gave you a hug all at once. Um, and so for me, it was just an amazing moment um, just to go out there and to do what I love again um, and have peace on that field and eventually being able to score the touchdown and the first time for me to point to the sky to my mom. Football is made for watching. Um, how about some of your favorite games you've watched over the years? A lot of games. I mean, uh, there would be some watching my brothers play in high school, uh, whether it would be uh, watching the Cowboys or um, watching this past Super Bowl was a great game. I mean, it's, all, it's a little tough for me to watch games all the way through when I'm not playing. And I've never watched every Super Bowl all the way through, to be honest with you. Um, no? I mean, I've watched them as they started, kind of done some stuff and come back. But as I said, it's hard for me to, to watch a, a game that I'm not playing in live all the way through, especially now that I've been playing in the NFL to just from the TV copy uh, to see it the way that I want to see it. But um, yeah. Who were you the biggest fan of growing up? The Dallas Cowboys. Yeah, how about a player? Um, Ray Lewis or, or Peyton Manning. And Peyton Manning, just for his, his preparation, he was just so ahead of everybody playing chess when they're playing checkers. Uh, and Ray Lewis was no different, but for me it was the passion that he played with, the excitement that he always played with and always brought the game. Um, two individuals that uh, I look up to when, when I get inside or when I think about the game of football uh, for forever.